What? I do not want it to do that. Wow, this is so unnecessary. But at the same time, kind of cool. I've finally done it. I've joined the Master Race. I'm just kind of joking, I don't really call them the master race, but essentially, as you know, I've most commonly been a Mac person just because I find it so much easier and faster to use things like Final Cut Pro as opposed to Premiere Pro, which takes a really long time to edit YouTube videos. And now, I'm joining the world of PC gaming. Now, when, as a child, I was actually mostly a PC gamer, but I moved over to console just because it was more convenient and more interesting in Japan. Let's open up this Alienware 13-inch gaming laptop with GTX 1060 inside, so it's VR ready and all that exciting stuff. Now as you can see it comes with this very fancy Alienware box which I'm going to open now and if you just push this handle inside you can open it up. The box is really really nice. Let's pull this open and inside you can see whoo, there it is. This is very nice. Inside there's a nice padded protective top here but I don't think I'll ever be using this box again after I've taken it out. Actually, how do you how do you get this thing out of here? Oh here we go. This is it guys, this is the gaming laptop. Actually, much thinner than I was expecting. I mean, obviously it's no MacBook Pro, but considering how much power is in here for playing video games, this is going to be really awesome. 13 inch gaming laptop, very snazzy looking. This is how it opens up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. now that's slick. I mean, it looks a lot like a very standard business laptop, but actually it does have glowing lights, which I'll show you in a moment. Also inside the box we get, this is some sort of quick start guide, safety and regulatory information. And in here, oh this doesn't actually come out, I thought this would come out, but it's actually just a separate box. Inside here is the AC, <laughs> this is huge! Check out the size of my hand compared to this. Now fortunately, I don't actually expect to be bringing this laptop anywhere with me very often. I might bring it to the studio for Let's Play Japan videos, but personally I expect to be playing most of my games at home. Wow, this is way too big. Oh, and I hate this. You would have to buy this whole thing again if it ever broke, like if the cable got worn out. There's no way to charge from USB-C, unfortunately. That's the result of having a 180 watt power supply. I believe that USB-C power supply only goes up to 100 watts, that's maybe why. And the actual cable that connects it to the main. And a snack! Just kidding, do not eat this. It's a shame this box is so bulky, otherwise I would actually consider carrying it around inside this box. I am actually really impressed by how nice and compact this is. It's quite weighty, certainly feels kind of heavy. On the front of the laptop is a little alien head. Let's peel off the plastic here. You guys actually get to see it before I do. It's actually kind of a strange shape for a laptop because the hinge isn't here at the end, so when you open it up, it actually has a bit of a gap here, but it's quite good because since you'll always have the laptop, or generally have the laptop at a, at a bit of an angle, it actually kind of takes advantage of this space here because it kind of overhangs space that you wouldn't be using here at the back of the laptop anyway. Just give you another close look at the laptop here. This is the front and it's got more plastic, so I'll just peel that plastic. <sighs> ASMR. Oh, and there's a little alien head. But essentially, what are the real reasons for buying a laptop like this? Well, it's 13 inches, which is nice and portable, so I can actually bring it to the studio, which is nice. But the main reason, really, is that I wanted to play more video games, more PC games on Steam. And this is my Mobile Studio Pro. And although it does have an i7 Skylake processor in it, it only has I Intel Iris 550 graphics, which is pretty good actually, but it means I can only play a lot of 3D games on like the lowest settings. And it's mostly for drawing. This tablet is actually used with this pen. And I essentially don't want to put too many games on it. I just want to use it as much as possible for illustration drawing work. And so because that computer really is only for drawing, and actually quite expensive as well, this one is actually much less expensive. This was about $2,000, or about £1,600. And the difference is that it actually has a better processor. It's an Intel, Sky, uh, not Skylake, it's an Intel Kaby Lake processor, so brand new for 2017. It looks just like the model, the Alienware 13-inch R3 computer that came out last year, but it has the Kaby Lake processor in it, so it is a little bit faster. It has a GTX 1060 graphics card inside it, which means it can actually play VR games. GTX 1060 is kind of the bare minimum you want for VR, so it probably won't play VR very well, and they're probably not at the highest settings, 
but it will be able to run VR in case I'm kind of interested in that. Good processor, good graphics card. That's pretty much the reason I bought this computer. Now, some of you may actually be wondering why I didn't bother to just build my own PC. And in fact, I wanted to build my own PC, but it's actually more expensive to build a PC in Japan. I would end up just buying a desktop, like a pre-built computer it would be cheaper in Japan. And I, just, I think it's just to do with the way that components are sold in Japan. However, I also just don't like the idea of carrying around a big tower PC. This one plays all the games I want to buy and I can actually bring it to the studio, which is really nice. All right, guys, prepare yourself for the first boot of my Alienware computer. Let's see if the lights actually switch on. I don't think they will actually. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We've got lights here. We've got blue lights over the keyboard. Not sure if you can see it. Konnichiwa. <laughs> My computer's talking to me in Japanese. Stop, 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 stop. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Hold on, I have to turn. Oh my goodness. English, please. English, please. Oh, hey, check this out. I've got blue on the on the mouse pad. Let me set up this computer and then I'll show you all the flashing lights and stuff in a moment. Stop it, stop it, stop it. All right, I've mostly got the computer set up. I've just kind of been doing the initial Windows setup stuff and just wanted to show you briefly that you can change the lights and stuff on here. You can actually change this to something like red or pink, green, uh, what's this? Yellow, blue, light blue. There's, there's about 25 different colors here or so. Oh. Well, that's interesting. You can get it. You can set it to just phase from one color to another. Pulse. What is what? I do not want it to do that. Wow. This is so unnecessary. But at the same time, kind of cool. Now the keyboard is set into four different zones, which you can just barely see on the screen there. So if I were to change the left side to blue, the middle middle to green, the right middle to red, and to the far right, I can change that to I don't know yellow. And you can see it kind of gently fades from one color to the next. It's a little strange. Actually, it works quite well. At first I thought it was going to be very specific, like blue, green, the orange, yellow. It actually kind of has a nice gradation from the left side to the right side. So that actually looks nicer than I was expecting. Wow, you could even have it only flashing in just the middle here. <laughs> that is so weird. I don't really understand why I would want that to happen. All right, I finally got the computer set up how I like it, changed the language and got all the Windows settings, deleted all the original bloatware that comes with it. And this is the first time I'm running Street Fighter V. This is one of the games that I had to run on pretty low settings before. And also the computer would get really hot, the Mobile Studio Pro. So let's go into graphics settings. Let's see if we can set it on something nice. Anti-alias and max. I don't know if that's necessary. Let's see if the whole computer just falls apart on maximum settings. Should also point out the speakers are much nicer on this laptop than they were on the Mobile Studio Pro, but then again, this is for drawing and this is for playing games. Oh, oh! Looks much nicer than the Mobile Studio. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to handle this. I think the speed is fine. It doesn't seem to be moving slowly or anything. The fan is blowing. You can't hear the fan blowing, but not over the sound of the, the game, the speakers. Alright, here we go. Throw! Alright, so I think you get the general gist. It looks so much nicer now than it did on the drawing tablet. Now we're gonna try another game. Alright, now I'm running the King of Fighters 14. You can't really change the graphics settings a great deal, but you can, you can set a few things. And on the Mobile Studio Pro, it was running, but I had a bit of screen tearing. So let's hope that having this faster computer with a better graphics card fixes some of those issues. The King of Fighters. The King of 14. Fighters. 14. I don't know what MIP maps are, but let's have them on. Anisotropic filtering. Okay, yeah, sure, let's have it. Oh, looks fast. No screen tearing. Ouch. Yes. Oh, no, I see the screen tearing there. All right, so I don't know how to fix that. That's kind of frustrating. Maybe I have to change a few settings so that that doesn't happen. Hmm. Graphics look nice, but I'm getting screen tearing and I don't really know how to fix that. Let's try mid maps off. See if that's done it. All right, let's see how it goes. Ouch. I don't know. Still see the screen tearing. 
I don't really know how to fix it right now. So there you have it, that was the Alienware 13 inch R3 computer with KB Lake processor and GTX 1060. Don't really know how to make sure that King of Fighters doesn't have screen tearing, I may have to look that up on a few forums, but it's a slick looking computer with a light up keyboard, light up little power button here, it even has a light up little alien head on the front of it, so there's lights. There's lights everywhere, whether you need them or not. I think there is probably a way to switch them off as well. Anyway, I've had a good time with this, and I would like to induct myself into the PC Master Race, even though really, it's not exactly the same, is it? Because this is not really an upgradable laptop. I think to be real Master Race, you'd have to buy a proper PC with upgradable components, and there's not a lot you can do to upgrade the Alienware laptop, apart from buy a graphics amplifier, which is essentially just an empty box that you put a graphics card into, and the graphics card can connect to this computer with the special Alienware like docking port. Anyway, I'll go into that in the future because, I, I mean, I don't think I'll need a graphics amplifier for now, but if I do want to do a, a quick little graphics upgrade, maybe two or three years down the line, that is possible using the graphics amplifier option port thing. Anyway, I'm really excited about having a PC finally because I can actually play a lot of games that I already bought on Steam. A lot of the games I bought on the Steam sale, these two games that I showed you are games that I've already shown you uh, previously. But this is, this is a good chance for me to finally get into more Steam games, get into a lot more cheaply purchasable games, I'm excited about that. Anyway, what kind of computer are you guys using? Would you prefer that I stuck? With consoles only, even though it's it's not really it's not really re realistic to stick with consoles only nowadays. It's like so many games that I'm playing. It's just more convenient to just have it on a laptop, have it on a computer, right here on the table in front of me, rather than having to set up my console and a TV. It's got to the point it's actually easier to play on this laptop because it's battery powered. I can just sit it here on the table, play with the arcade stick. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.